Uh, convicted pedophiles would be listed on a public register under a proposed plan by Darren Hinch's Justice Party in Victoria. Joining us now from Parliament House in Melbourne is Patrick Murrell. Pat, what sort of information would be made public under these plans? The postcodes and photographs of convicted pedophiles and other dangerous sex offenders would be made public online under this plan from the Justice Party. The federal government, of course, we know supports a national register. Peter Dutton uh, has a very keen interest in it. And in April, $8 million was allocated uh, to the program, which does require the support of COAG. This plan in Victoria uh, is a stopgap until a national one would take effect. In an ideal world, the Justice Party says that the exact street address Address of convicted pedophiles would be publicly available, but this is a more moderate compromise to ensure that it does get through the parliament. Take a listen. There are over 1,500 registered sex offenders for life living within our community as we speak, and around 10 to 15 per cent of these will go on to commit further offences. Open justice is a common law principle, and we seek to extend that principle from beyond the courts and out to the community. Now, the opposition here, the uh, Victorian Liberals, they're supportive of this motion. They had a very similar platform uh, in their last election. The Labor government, well, they're supporting taking it to the committee stage, but at this stage aren't saying about anything further from that. It doesn't, though, have complete support. Civil libertarians have raised concerns about possible privacy violations as well as possible vigilante action. Recent MP Fiona Patton says there's no hard evidence to support public offender registries and that it one may uh, inadvertently identify uh, the victims. Now, Darren Hinch, who a former senator and current host on Sky News, says that uh, a register would be worth it so long as it saves one potential victim. Take a listen. The public's right to know is the driving force in all this. And I think if you have a convicted sex offender living next door to you, and, and as Sarah Monaghan said to me, she, I had a teenager from Australia staying with me. I looked up any sex offenders in our region and said to her, don't walk down Smith Street, walk down Jones Street because a guy lives there. And you tell your kids, don't go door knocking on Halloween because Mr Sciencer lives there. If the motion passes the upper house here in Victoria today, it will then go before a committee which will deliver a report on the viability of a registry next year.